How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to show y'all how to remove a cam from a small block Chevy. Whether you're trying to do a cam swap or like in my case here you can see the uh, engine blew out, the timing chain broke and the crankshaft just broke off right there. So I'm mainly trying to take my cam out to see if it's salvageable and I may either keep it or I might sell it to help recoup some of the price of the engine just a little bit so here on the driver's side I've already taken the head off I've taken the push rods out and right here I've taken the lifters out and I've also taken the lifter guides out so throughout the video you can come back to this point to see how it's how it's gonna look once we do all this on the passenger side here so that we can take the cam out. So you're gonna need two socket sizes for this. You're gonna need a 5 8 and that is for all of the 17 head bolts. And you're also going to need a half inch socket and that's just for the, the lifter retainer here and the oil pump drive since this is an LT1. And also the, um, the cam sprocket bolts here. So this being an LT1, it is a little bit different than most of your traditional small block Chevys, like your old Chevy 350s or whatever. Um, I've already taken that off. So you'll see that we have a water pump drive here, and on the back of the cam gear, there's a second row of teeth, and that is what drives this water pump drive. And also, you can see at the end of the crank, since these LT1s are not run by a traditional distributor in the back of the motor. And that is the oil pump drive, which is still splined into the cam. The traditional, I mean the uh, distributor is run off of the front. It's called an OptiSpark. And you can see right there where I'm touching with the uh, push rod. Right there. See how those, it's got a gap right there. It's called an index, and the uh, end of the crank is in the end of the cam is indexed so that you can line up your Opti Spark and you don't have to adjust your timing like you would on an old school distributor. And also, there's that little dowel pin to line this gear up the index in that, and with the end of the camshaft. So, you're first going to take your half inch socket and you're going to want to take these three off so these three bolts take those out and I've already actually taken this out that's why everything's so loose here Also, we're going to need a Torx T27 bit. You'll see why in just a second here. So now that our three bolts are out, we can go ahead and remove this cam gear. There you go. And you'll see our cam retainer here. And that's what I said, the two, two Torx 27 bits. Or the Torx 27 bit that we'll need to remove these two cam retainer screws. So you'd have this in your quarter inch ratchet. Alright, now your cam retainer plate will come off. Just set that aside. And now, with the top end of the engine here, you have to take 
a little bit of stuff loose here to get the cam out the rest of the way. So after you have your intake off, you can either start with these three bolts here for the lifter retainer. And once you take those loose, these are all half inch, like I said. off and see how those ends are like right there that goes down and that holds your lifter guides in place so I'll just set this aside and set the bolts aside and now your lifter guides you can't take them off yet because you have your head and all that in the way so now comes the point where you can either take your oil pump drive out or go ahead and take your head off. Or you don't have to take it off, just loosen it really. Um, so this is a half inch bolt also. Go ahead and take that loose. And there we go. That splines into the cam and then that end right there is what drives the oil pump. So first thing, you'll take your 5 8 socket and there are 17 bolts for the head. So you start off, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 here in the heads. And then underneath, you've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And those are all the same size. Those are 5 eighths, like I said. So once you get all those loosened up to where you can pull them out, wiggle your head enough to where it can has a little bit of slack here as you can see you can go ahead and remove the push rod so for me what I've done is I just turn the rocker arms to the side and I take the push rods out like this The reason you have to take all this off is because these lifters, these are hydraulic roller lifters, and these are pushing on, these are touching the lobes of the cam, and then the push rods sit in the end of that, the end of the lifters. And you've got your rocker arms there, and your valve springs. So, when everything's tightened down, there's constant tension here, and it's pushing on your valve springs, and or the valve springs are pushing back on it, so everything's tight, and you won't be able to get your cam out. So go ahead and finish taking out all of the push rods, all eight of them per side. There we go. So let's go on over to this side here. So you can see. Alright, so we've loosened the head. We've gotten all the rocker arms moved over. And we've taken all of the push rods and put them, taken them out of the head and off of the, the uh, lifters. So we'll take our lifter guides off of here. I've just sat mine right here. And then go ahead and remove your lifters. Let's see. Okay. 
and you've got two per cylinder, as you have two valves per cylinder, you've got one intake and one exhaust. It's about as simple as it can get. And if you're wanting to reuse all this, make sure to keep it all the way it goes, but this engine's toast, and I'm just kind of making this video just to show you the steps and the process to go through to remove the cam here. So it doesn't really matter for me to keep everything like it goes. Because I'm not going to reuse any of this anyways. I've already got the new engine. Alright, there. So now, this side looks exactly like the other side. There's no, none of the lifters are in pushing down on the cam. Everything, all the pressure off the cam. All the pressure is off the cam. So, we'll go back to the front of the engine. And some people use longer bolts here and take the cam out but in my case what I did I just lined the uh, cam gear back up here all right got them all snug down here so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this cam gear and just slightly wiggle it and there you go you can hear it's coming out now and you want to be careful because uh, you do have cam bearings in here, but you also don't want to beat the cam up trying to take it out. There. And this is what's getting hung up here. The big lobes of the cam, these are what rides on your cam bearings. And these have just enough space that they fit. There you go. It's the second one out. third one and the last one here is going to be the oil pump driver or distributor drive all right take the cam gear off all right and there she is so like I said it looks like it's still salvageable it's just uh, you can see the lines here from where the lifters have run on it over the past 25 years. Just needs to be cleaned up, but there's no scoring on it or anything like that from when the engine blew. It still looks like it's in good condition. And in the engine here, all of the uh, cam bearings look all right, none of them pulled out or anything like that. So, that is how you remove a camshaft from a small block Chevy. And then to put it back in, or if you're swapping one in, the steps are gonna be the exact opposite. So, you'll put the new cam in, you'll put the cam retainer back on, and put the cam gear back on it to work everything down and then you can go ahead and reassemble your top end putting your lifters in and the lifter guides and the push rods making sure to readjust the rocker arms where they're seated correctly on the valve stumps here I mean the valve springs and then put your oil pump drive back in and tighten it down with the half inch bolt and the lifter guide retainer here and your intake and all that just the reverse of how I took it off hope that helps somebody out I haven't really seen any videos on YouTube about people instructional videos on how to take the cams out everybody just shows videos of swapping the cam but no one really goes into detail on the actual process from start to finish of taking everything loose and moving the push rods and the lifters and the lifter guides and all that to actually be able to take the cam out of the block so hope that helps somebody out if you would consider subscribing give it a thumbs up and uh, should have some more videos coming soon it's always something new with this engine and my little Corvette
Thank y'all. Bye.